Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today, we are going to solve a Hudson River trading interview problem. Check the description for more quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. We have a 7 cross 7 matrix where each entry is a number from 1 to 7. Additionally, there are two constraints. Each column must include each of the numbers 1 through 7 exactly once. For example, the first column contains each number from 1 to 7 exactly once. The same is true for other columns. Let a, i, j represent the entry in the i-th row and j-th column. We must have a, i, j equal to a, j, i for all i and j between 1 and 7. For example, these two elements are equal. Similarly, these two elements are also equal. Now, these elements form the main diagonal of the matrix. The problem asks, what is the probability that each number from 1 to 7 appears exactly once on the main diagonal? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Let's start with simpler cases. For example, consider two cross two matrices. If we construct matrices that satisfy the two given constraints in the problem, we find that none of them have both one and two appearing exactly once on the main diagonal. If we construct three cross three matrices, we find that all of them have one, two, and three appearing on the main diagonal. Similarly, if we construct a few four cross four matrices, none of them have the numbers one through four appearing exactly once on the main diagonal. If we construct a few five cross five matrices, all of them have the numbers 1 through 5 appearing exactly once on the main diagonal. This might lead to the suspicion that in odd-sized matrices, all numbers will always appear on the main diagonal, whereas in even-sized matrices, it is impossible for all numbers to appear simultaneously on the main diagonal. So for a 7 cross 7 matrix, all numbers should always appear in the main diagonal exactly once. It turns out that our suspicion is correct. Let's prove it. Fix a number k between 1 and 7. Because every column contains every number exactly once, the total number of times k appears in the matrix is exactly 7. All right. Now observe that if k appears outside the main diagonal, it must occur in pairs, as each occurrence must have a corresponding counterpart symmetric to the diagonal. So every occurrence of k off the main diagonal must appear in pairs. In other words, k must appear an even number of times outside the main diagonal. Now we have established that k appears exactly 7 times in the matrix. So k must appear an odd number of times in the main diagonal. This is true for all k between 1 and 7. Therefore, each number from 1 to 7 appears an odd number of times on the main diagonal, which means every number from 1 to 7 must appear exactly once on the main diagonal. Therefore, the required probability is 1. Let's consider another problem. A meter stick is broken into 100 pieces by randomly selecting 99 breakpoints along its length. What is the expected length of the shortest piece? Try to solve it on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course, Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.